Hi, I'm Mary Kopsinski, the CEO of Regolytics. First, I would like to wish my parents, Jay and Julie Nuxall, a very happy 60th wedding anniversary. Nine kids and 13 grandkids, and they still love each other. I am a lucky daughter. And now here's your 52nd and final update of 2022. Here are some fun facts. This year we tracked 640,000 regulatory alerts. Of my personal searches, the hottest issues this year were, drum roll, ranking in fifth place, all things crypto with 2,265 alerts. Fourth place was my weed feed with a little over 3,000 alerts. Third place was diversity and inclusion. Second place was Russia, Ukraine. And finally, first place was 4,361 alerts, climate and clean tech. As for this week's 8,852 alerts, a low volume, thank goodness regulators. There were lots of interesting ones, but my kid already told me it's family time and I'm not supposed to be working this week. But the regulator of the week is the U.S. Postal Service, which in addition to getting us all our gifts here, <laughs> announced a $9 billion investment over the next five years to electrify the fleet. The topic of the week is U.S. states acting like New York and California and taking matters into their own hands. Oregon's Environmental Quality Commission adopted rules that will require all new passenger cars, trucks, and SUVs sold in Oregon to be zero emissions by 2035. New Jersey proposed a law, we'll see if it passes, that any company with information on a New Jersey resident or company is obligated to have a written information security program. What else do you need to know? Wells Fargo, FTX, and BlockFi continue to have their asses handed them by the regulators, but I'm sure you already saw that in the regular news. MasterCard and Epic, Epic Games are also getting big fines. MasterCard got in trouble for being anti-competitive with their back-end payment systems. Epic got a 275 million fine for violating children's protection laws. Credit Suisse had issues with their living will plan. And finally, the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision put out prudential standards for crypto, which to translate for you means they set limits on how much capital big institutions need to set aside for safety when they delve into the digital asset space. I know some of you may hate regs, but this means that digital assets are getting more and more institutionalized and are pretty much here to stay. And that's it for this week at Regalytics. I will see you next year.